Dude, I don't even know where to start. I did it. I finally bought a proper trail bike. The 2021 Specialized Stump Jumper Comp Alloy 29er. This is the mid-level of the Stumpy offerings and I'm absolutely impressed. For 2021, the Stumpy is updated to a long, low, and slack approach. This progressive geometry paired with Specialized's S sizing really lets you fine tune the Stumpy's characteristics and how you want it to ride. I rode an S3 and with a little shorter wheelbase and a little tighter reach, it was off the bat very quick and snappy. I'm 5'10 and I went for an S4, a little longer wheelbase, a little longer reach, figuring it would be faster and stable, and it is. With a 65 degree head tube angle, a whopping 1240 millimeter wheelbase, and a 780 millimeter reach, these are enduro specs, but what I was looking for was a capable trail bike easily pressed in the downhill and definitely capable of climbing. I kept the bike almost stock for this review. I did put on wider bars. The Stumpy comes with 780s, I ride 820s, lizard skin grips. I threw on a pair of one-up composite pedals and an MRP bash guard. I knew the first ride was gonna get rowdy. The first day of riding was mostly shuttle runs and some fun flow trails, a fair amount of chunder, out of the gate, this bike gets up to speed fast and holds speed. It's the poppiest bike ever. Fast and planted and ready to pop off anything. The 2021 Comp comes with a Fox 34 rhythm and fit grip damper or single compression and rebound settings. I'm running eight clicks from fast rebound and about a third into the compression. In the rear, we've got a Trail Tune Fox DPS I'm running six clicks from fast and mid preset compression. For the whole day, set and forget. It handled everything. My love for Fox suspension is after the pain of dialing in the individual high and low speed rebound and high and low speed compression and trying to get it just right. For a mid-level suspension setup, one, it was super easy to dial in, two, it performed amazingly well. The Comp Alloy doesn't have a flip chip. I double checked the angles and the settings and it is in the low position if there was a flip chip and I'm totally good with that. Braking is handled by SRAM G2R four piston brakes. I have no complaints, they do the job. We got a 200 millimeter rotor up front, 180 in the rear. SRAM Eagle NX for the front and rear drivetrain, zero complaints. I have front and rear GX on my Enduro, and the NX held through two solid days of climbing and clacking through gears. X-Fusion Dropper, again, does the job in infinite heights. I'm happy with it. Specialized recently introduced a new compound to T-Series. If T9 is the grippiest, the Stump Jumper comps come with T7, and a Butcher 2.3 in the front, and a Purgatory 2.3 in the rear. Honestly, I have zero complaints about these tires. They gripped in the fastest turns and berms. They held under heavy braking in loose rock and loose conditions. And honestly, I think when these wear out, I'm gonna replace them with the same tires. The Stump Jumper Comp off the showroom floor is ready for anything, but it's intended to be an overly capable trail bike. And it is, it is crazy fast, super planted, so poppy and has proven to be versatile. If I had to label this bike down country, we could beef up the suspension and push it to more of an enduro intended use, but why wouldn't you get the Evo or an actually an enduro? I think as is, this is a trail assassin. It is fast and nimble. From flow trails to long single track out and backs, Pressing this into some chunder, rocks, roots, bruiser trails, this bike will handle it all. I'm gonna end the video with a top to bottom run of Culvert Trail. Culvert is fast, flowy, berms and turns, rocks and drops, and you really get to see how the Stumpy was running that day. Thanks for hanging out, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.
foot's almost coming off the pedal. Not today. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>